It was a lot of fun putting together this little video for Nan and Grandad to celebrate their 80th. At the time, I completely forgot about myself to get some footage and to say something, but here it is. Happy birthday, Nan and Grandad. Thank you for all the memories we've had along the way. Uh, the biggest takeaway from filming this was everyone's attachment to the land and really the connection that you're able to share with them for having a property and having farm and, and, and taking us out there when we were kids. So we truly appreciate that. Everyone really sort of was like a, a common thread between everyone's presentation. Now, you asked me to do this video and, and, and video everyone that day and I was laying in bed at night and I'm thinking, how can I make this interesting? You know, instead of just sitting up the camera in the corner of the room and filming everything as it happens, I thought, well, let's get some interaction here. Let's let's see what, what everyone's got to say. So I come up with a couple of questions I know would put people off guard and, and ask them. Uh, I saw a lot of people dirting away and didn't want to get filmed at all. So there's a couple of people missing, but most people are in here and they really wanted to share what they had and uh, the connection they've had with you. So here it is. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do this and um, look forward to many more in the future. All right, so tell me who you are. Brian Shirley Bell. Brian Shirley Bell. And how long have you known Nan and Granddad for? Uh, or just 60 years, I believe. 60 years. And how did you meet them? Uh, next door neighbours. Really? From the next door neighbours? Right, yeah. gotcha. Did you move in or they just moved in or they bought the property? Or? Most memorable experiences you've had with Patty and Fred. You can be as candid as a wanderer or as preserved as you want. Well, we did a couple of trips around the day. We you did? Yeah, yeah. And you came to Port Macquarie once, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. In a camper trail, yeah. so we've had pretty close contact with them. We're still friends, so that's pretty important. <laughs> Tell us something that uh, most people wouldn't know about you two. It might be a hobby that you do or something that. I think most people around here know. Yeah. That into <laughs> so there's nothing. Sports, yeah. Party, yeah. 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 Well, we have birthday parties. A little group that has birthday parties every. Yeah. Uh, every every year. Every time anyone has a birthday, we have a get together. That's yeah. a pretty good group. Cool, cool. And what would you like to tell, say to them on this 80th anniversary? Yeah. I reckon he's a girl, pretty good lady. Yeah. So I hope we're together for a lot more birthdays. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Brian Shirley. No Bill Hadrill. Bill Hadrill. And you are? Myra Hadrill. And you're obviously from lo local because I've heard your, that name before. Next door neighbours. For many years. Yeah, yeah. So you've known Patty and Fred for, oh wow, have to be like as long as seven, eight years. Did you go to school with Fred, did you? Oh, yeah. You did? Wow, so tell me about something about growing up about Fred that most people wouldn't know about. That's a good story. We played, played football together. Right, uh, like AFL or something like that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Got ya. Tennis. Yeah. He didn't play cricket. He Feel the athletic type cricket. with him. Yeah, he's a very athletic when he's younger, wasn't he? Yeah. Good, good. And you've been farming your whole life in town here? Yes. You're still on the farm? Yes. Yeah, you got you got descendants looking after it now, eh? Or? Our property's not far from there, old property. Yeah. Down in the Yarrangeri Scrub. Wow. Yeah. Of course you would, because it's great land. You know it's been looked after yeah. and been brought up well. Good stuff. So what was one of the most memorable moments over the last 80 years that you want to share with Patty and Fred? Oh. Something you remembered? We've been, we've been friends for forever. Forever. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. Uh, Fred and I used to go to the Andy Field days together. Yeah. So you um, buy machinery and pick machinery out and make sure it's the right thing and take it back and put it this. Yeah, wow. That's a big involvement. Wow. So... We used to shear together too. You did? Yeah, we did shear together. We're both left handed. You're both left handed? Both left handed. Wow. That's, that's part to come by. Yeah, a lot of left handed shears as well. Yeah. 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 So what's yeah, we did in the long run. They, they, they brought out a new cone that was straight. Right. Fred and I got that for start, but then they brought out the left hand and went the wing on the And then you're on fire. Yeah. What about look out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Fred 
it was shearing when we got the wide cones. So like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I kept shearing when they got the big wide cones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so, so even though you had your own sheep and that you didn't get other people help you shearing as well, or you yeah, just do it? Did. Yeah, you just had to get in those poles, I suppose. Yeah. We used to go to bearings and shear. Oh, yeah. Forge Wow. Beckham. Jeez. Uh, everywhere. So you just followed around as well. Yeah. That's what's keeping you fit and healthy for so long, right? Yeah, I uh, so. <laughs> so send Patty and Fred a message. What would you like to say on this special day? Oh, all the best in yeah. the years to come. Yeah. And we love them both. Thank you so much, Will. Cheers. Tell us a little bit about yourselves, both of you. So we'll start with you, Nan. <coughs> who, who are you? Who am I? Where do you live? Oh, I'm Patty, oh, oh, and I live in Harrier Park. Yeah. And, um, and you've lived here for how long? Mrs. Mate, happy birthday to the two year, and we've had a long time together, and it's been great friendship. I am Barney, I'm the eldest of the parents that are left. Yes, you are. Yes. And um, tell me, when you were growing up, something about Fred or Paddy, I suppose, you grew up all together. Oh, no, no. Want to share. No, I'm just like Paddy with his little teacher. Yeah, but you grew up too. We were all growing together. <laughs> oh, no, I can remember Fred as, as a, a, a little boy yep. with blonde, curly hair. Blonde, curly hair? Blonde, curly Wow, because he's got such dark hair. I know, I remember. There you go. So you still got his curl? Yes, and, and I've got some of those too. Oh, you've got some of them, didn't you? <laughs> That's oh, good. No, we all got there and enjoyed, oh, it, and enjoyed our uh, living time together. And, yeah. See, when he started school, I had left school. Yes, so I was just talking to Bill Hadrill just then. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Yeah, it's pretty good. Happy birthday and yeah. many more. Of them. And he's my baby brother. He is. My baby Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Lovely. I'd just like to wish Fred and Patty a very happy birthday. Um, we're very pleased to be up here for the moment to celebrate their day. Join in with the whole community. Yeah, and the it's family. good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for thank being you here. Thank you so much for everybody. It's been a great afternoon. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm Leslie Graham Beery. Yeah. Yep. And your granddad's older brother. Or younger brother. He, he, young, younger brother. Younger brother. Gotcha, gotcha. And what's one of your first... What's one of the most memorable childhood memories for, with my granddad, Fred? 
Something you remember growing up or on the farm, running it all those years? Oh. There's probably a few. Yeah, rabbiting. Yeah. Uh, go up dead walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go and walk about. We went walk about one time. Oh, no. He did. I did. What? what, on, what without telling one where you're going, or? Uh, yeah, yeah. tell me, brother, myself. Yeah, yeah. Older brother. Yeah. But he, he's passed away now. Was that when you were kids? You'd been walk about. Yeah. Yeah. How old were you then? Oh, probably about twelve. Yeah. And you decided just I'm going to go for a walk and yeah, not come we, back. We, well, it's in the black a fair bit. Oh, okay. And they did the walkabout. Yeah, we yeah. just went up to Jordan, up, up north somewhere. We didn't know where he was going, but we yeah. got up there somewhere. So did he get lost? Did he get found? Tell us what happened uh, there. Well, we got so far and we got to go to the crook. Yeah, yeah. Beat you. <laughs> Very good. You've done a lot together, you two. You, you know, grew a big property empire and had a farm and looked after a lot of things there. Oh, yeah. 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 That's not cows. Yeah. yeah. When we were kids, we also sent milk away. Uh, yeah. Really? Uh, no, not milk. Cream. Cream. Yeah. 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 So that's their 80th birthday joint birth of the day. Um, to, you want us to just send them a wish or uh, say something to them? Oh, they're doing your heart. Wish them all the best in the future for both of them. Yeah. We were pretty close when we, we used to work together. Yeah. And well, Fred lived in here. Oh, right. Alright, so tell me how the food is, Julie. Very nice. Yeah. Lovely. Well, so who, who made the food and tell us a bit about it? Sharon got it from Wagga, yep. brought it over, and just paid for it. We were going to cater for ourselves, yeah. which is just too big a job. Yeah. So we decided to buy it. Yep. So what did you end up getting? What's, uh, what's your plate? I've got um, uh, beef thing and curry chicken, lasagna, and potato bake. Of course, potato bake. Good food, eh, Mum? Potato bake was good. Yeah. Yeah, I missed that first. <laughs> good, good. Missed that lasagna. I didn't even notice lasagna. There. Don't feel it, do you? And tell me, what does it mean to you to have everyone here today? You think I had that many friends? You've done it right, haven't you? A hundred people? Oh, I'm sure you have a lot more friends. <laughs> tell me something that most people don't know about you. Something about another world. <laughs> it's area park, right? Yeah, no, I'm just here. Yeah, I'm just an ordinary bloke. Mm -hmm. Shy in nature. The big and hard. I think so. <laughs> good, 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 good. No, it is all good. No, it's good to have them all here. Right. And what would you like to say to all the people here today if they were watching later on? What would you like to say to everyone watching or being here or just look out for yourself? Yep. Uh, put a smile on your face and, and enjoy life. And enjoy life. That's it. Yeah. Good on you, Granddad. Hello. Hello, so who are you? I'm Sandy. Uh, and how are you related I'm, to I'm, I'm the favourite daughter. You're the favourite daughter. <laughs> Tell me a little about yourself. Tell me something that most people don't know about you. I'm the favourite daughter. You're the favourite daughter. <laughs> I'm the bad. And what's your most memorable name with your mother and father? I'll get back to you. Okay, and one more question. What would you like to say to them on this special day? Happy, happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Dad. So pleased that I'll come down to spend your birthday with you and my birthday with my wife, my bestie, my sister. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep. And who's this you look here? This is Aurelian. This is Aurelian. Your youngest? My youngest. Your yeah. youngest. And um, tell me about something that most people don't know about you or something interesting. We are all blessed. We are all what? We are all blessed. Yes, we are. Excellent. And tell me something. Hang on, they're going to work it out for me. Tell me. <laughs> um, it's Nanny and Granad's 80th today. We're celebrating that. Tell me, tell them something that you'd like to share with them. Um, what message would you like to say? Happy birthday, Nan and Pop, Nan and Granddad. Yep. I'm so grateful to be here. Yep. And it's our other Nan's birthday today as well. She passed in September. Yep. So, um, what a perfect day to celebrate. Everyone 
should be have family around. That's right. Yeah. Tell me one mo one of the most memorable moments you've shared with Nan and Grandad or either or both. Um, the most memorable moment I had with Nan is when I was about three years old. Yep. There was a lamb stuck in the dam. Yep. And Nan took off her shoes and socks and she pulled up the pants. And she went into the dam and she rescued this little poor dam. Really? It was um, stuck in the mud. Yeah. So that's been my most memorable moment. That's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I'm the start of the family. You're the start of the yeah. family? Yeah. Right. I see. You look like Bevan. Bevan is the old boy. Bevan's the old bloke. Yep. He's no good no more. Yep. He's back. Put him out. Wherever he is, he's, he's, he's no gone. good. He's gone. He's no, no good. But anyway. Anyway. Anyway, I'm the main one of the family. As you're, you know. You're the main one. The cool bloke. You know. You're always funny when growing up. That's it. I always have you. Yeah. The cool, the cool uncle. That's it. That's <laughs> That's right. Anyway, yep. what would you like to know, Mitch? I'd like to know something that most people don't know about you, Terry. Well, we'll have a look. <laughs> most people don't know about you. <laughs> Mate, everyone knows everything about me because I'm out there all the time. Yeah, you're in Airy Park too, I suppose. Yeah, everyone knows everything. Years ago, yeah, years ago. So I'm not there now. No. Entrepreneurial, I remember when I was growing up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you had doing something. Your side hustles happening. Yeah, happening. Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable happening. these days working back for Ken, though. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. doing all the good things like yeah, that. You are. And we got our grandkids. We have got a buddy eight of them now. Wow. Eight grandkids. Yeah. Jeez, and they'll have grandkids. And they'll have grandkids. Uh, and they'll have grandkids. Uh, <laughs> nah. Anyway, I've got eight of them. We got wow. yeah, the four girls, and Kato hasn't started yet, so. Yeah, I know, right? There's probably going to be some more. Mm -hmm. Probably going to be some more. So anyway, so hopefully I'll have an 80th one day. And, yeah. And you That's not too far away. Only about 30 years away. Yeah, yeah. not even. <laughs> 25 maybe. 26. 26. <laughs> that's a fair way away. And how old I'll be then? I'll be... I'm in my 60s, so that's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's my idea. You'll be 60. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. But anyway. All right, so when you're growing up, tell us one of your most memorable moments growing up on the farm or something like that. On the farm? Yeah. Um, you just been out and about doing things. You're just yeah. always doing something. You're never bored. Like kids these days, mm. bored just drive you crazy. Yeah, yeah. Back, that, back then, you're never bored. You're always doing something. You're making things, doing things, and fixing things, playing fixing things, wrecking things. And wrecking things. Yeah. <laughs> just wrecking shit. Yeah. Just doing stuff. Stuff. The bits. No, it was good. It was really yeah, it good, was. actually. And um, yeah, just growing up good, good, good. Yeah, in a country town. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. Show, share with your mum and dad uh, a message that you would like to hear. That I hear on this. Uh, Okay, I'd like to thank Mum and Dad so much for everything they've done and bringing yeah. us up the way they did. And I'm always doing things, skiing, you know, yeah. places, doing stuff. Skiing. I got one of my daughters having a listen over here with the shit I'm talking about. Come on, man. That's you, you can watch the video later. She's, on, she's, she's already went on it. I've Jess, already, come over I've here. I've already done my thing. All right. Jessica. So, Jess, we've been waiting for Jess. Yeah, Jess, get Jess now. Oh, All right, Jess. Jess. Just get some better light. Oh, it's just about to go. It's like we're talking. All right. It's number two, daughter. It's number two. Jessica. Yeah. She wants to have a bit to say. So Jess is going to tell. Always got a lot to say. So I've got nothing to say. She has got. Jess has got a lot to say. All right. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Jess. There you go. Go for it, Jess. What did you say? Okay, who are you? Where you're from? Tell us a little bit about you. She's the stud's daughter. You are. She's the stud's daughter. You are. Oh, I'm Jess. Yep. I'm a chef. I've been a chef for 12 years. And you're a good cook. Most of the time. And you, and you married a good cook too. I did marry yeah. a good cook. <laughs> um, Tell us something that most people don't know about you, Jess. Nothing. 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 Everyone knows everything. More or less. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you what about that time that you were in town and I picked up you and the... <laughs> 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 All right. But there's a couple of, I've asked this question a lot of people, but um, when you're growing up, what is the most memorable things that you've experienced with Nan and Grandad? My thing that reminds me of Nan and Grandad is stewed apricots. Oh. We used to go to the yeah, farm. Yeah, we used to so many of them. The time. Yep, we yep. Used to have, and going out to the farm and feeding the animals. Yeah, yeah. And the cows and skins and that. That's the biggest. That's yeah. a good connection. Not many people get that, eh? No. Yeah, that's yeah. stewed apricots. Every time I have stewed apricots, yeah. that's what I remember. Who I oh, think. No, Nan they're all like the real deal. They're not like yeah. SPC stuff. That's Oh no, there's a real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the one. <laughs> 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 
every time I have it, yeah. I think it's too regular. Bad. It's your regular. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps the flow going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jess, there's just one more thing. What's something you'd like to share with Nan and Grand on this, this occasion? Like a congratulations or a message? Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Just so good to see you. Yeah. And yeah, it's just been a lovely day. It's been beautiful. Thank you so much. No worries. Tell the camera who you are. I'm Chris. You're Chris. Chris and how younger son. you are. That's right. Tell us something that most people don't know about you, Chris. Not much. Not much. It's a small town, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. I understand what you mean. Um, tell us one of your most memorable moments growing up with Nan, with your mum and dad. I remember your 21st birthday. I was there. That was a good night. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, well that's a good one. Well, you, you know, you used to tell heaps of good stories when you were a kid. Come on. Josh is so Yeah, alright. So, something you want to share with your mum and dad for this event. So, a message or something like that. Happy birthday. Love you lot. Good stuff. We got this fella now. Thank you. Sorry. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself. I know you've been watching me waiting for your go. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I've come out here to get a So tell me your name. I'm Bill Mitchell. I'm uh, Pat's uh, brother, younger brother. You are. And Fred's uh, brother. -in -law. And where are you from? I'm from Cessna. You are. Yep. So tell us a little bit about um, Pat when you were growing up. Something... Well, it's a funny story with Pat. Pat's five and a half year older than me. Yep. So when I started uh, kindergarten, that was in sixth class. Yep. So she left that school a year. Yep, yep. After I was there. Then she went to boarding school. She did, yes. She went to boarding what? school for five years. Yep. And we used to only see Pat at uh, school on those, probably Easter yep. uh, and Christmas. So it was. Uh, very exciting time when Pat's coming yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because we've never seen it. And then, after five years of boarding school, we went to Teachers College for two years and lived in Newcastle. So, we only seen her when they, she come up or we went down. Right. Every you time know. you see her to make the most of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, very, we might only see her two or three times a year. Yeah. And then, when she got out of Teachers College, she went to the country towns down this way and yeah. started teaching, then she met Fred, yeah. and, uh, and that was it, you know, she stayed way. down here, you know. Good, good, good. But she's uh, regularly visited up here, I mean, in, since uh, Christmas, uh, no, January 64, I called in here on the way back from Perth to see them, yeah. we drove back, and uh, Pat and Fred, they were up at Cessna. So oh, oh the only time. <laughs> you haven't come back since. I'll miss <laughs> no. And I've come back in 68, yeah. and then I've come back for 40 years later, I think, for their 50th wedding. Wow. Wow. That was the last time in between that? Yeah. That was down at the um, hall, wasn't down it? Yeah, the golf club. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, uh, here today, you know, but they've, they've called up. Of course. You know, they work, and then oh, I was still working, but I've been retired. Yeah, you were saying. I that. should have. Uh, uh, Julie's always on to me to come down. That, but you know, just well, it's good to see you here this weekend. Everyone else is around. Hey. One more thing, what's just a short message for Fred and Patty? Oh, lovely people, y'all. Wish you all the best. Yeah, keep it up. Thank you so much, y'all. Good I'm on you. I'm Loretta, I'm Pat's sister. Yes, you are. And you are? I'm Merle Mitchell, and I'm Pat's and Fred's sister in law. Good, good, good. And I'm from Cessna. You are both from Cessna. Right. So, when you were both getting old and growing up with uh, Fred or Patty or both, tell us some of the most memorable moments or something that sticks out. Well, Fred was always ADHD. Was he really? Yes. I did not know this. And he would come up yep. and he would get the tea towel when you're whiten up and you just flip it and spin your leg. Yeah, you still do that, yep. Yeah. Call me. Yep, yep. Always a call me. Yep. What else can I say? Drive you crazy sometimes. Yep. <laughs> um, it's good. What about you? No, we, I, we haven't had a lot to do with Fred and Pat, but we did come down after we were married yep. in 68 when they lived in the other house. And this little lamb's throat one day while we were standing there, 
a night in my flame with a man on, they give us really? a chops for dinner. <laughs> um, That's the way it is in the land though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, where your food comes yeah, from. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, they live in a different world to what we do. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. All right. So, um, what's something you'd like to share with them, or a message you'd like to send for their audience? I just tell them to stay young because I feel they're pretty young for their age. Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? These, yeah. by the way, yeah. yourself. The way they're going now. Yeah. They'll live till morning. That's gorgeous. Hundred. <laughs> hundred. Uh, oh no, we live, we live to a hundred in our family. Oh, family. easy. Yeah. 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 They're showing us the way, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Do whatever they're doing. Just keep doing it. <laughs> live, love lots, live a good life, and yeah, have yeah, fun. Yeah. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, you who you are? I am the son, favourite son in law of Fred and Patty. Yeah. You haven't changed much in, in the 30 odd years I've known. You always look the same. Of course. <laughs> age age never mellows. <laughs> he only thinks he's the favourite son in law. That's too bad, I am. Who else would it be? <laughs> <laughs> My father, baby. <laughs> Um, tell us an interesting fact that most people wouldn't know about you. I know you live in Area Park and everyone knows everyone else's business, but you obviously have a hobby or something, or not a secret necessarily, but just something that most people wouldn't know about Bevan Cole. Wouldn't, wouldn't know. Wouldn't know. Wouldn't know about me. Yeah. Oh, I'm gay. You're gay? <laughs> okay. We'll move on there. And no, I'm cross dress. <laughs> cross dress. <laughs> Next one is, um, that's growing me now, no, it's <laughs> It's Nan and Granad's ADF today. Um, tell them one of the most memorable moments or the first time you met them, how you remember them, or something that, a connection there. Uh, well, when, when, when we're going out together, my wife, oh, my wife now, yep. before we were married, my wife was too scared to tell them that. Because Bevan Powell used to be in Nanny Veering's second class or something, first class. First class, yeah. Cool. So yeah. she even knows all about you. Oh, she does. I was <laughs> a golden haired little boy. It's cool. Yeah, so what happened there? You were scared to say something. Well, Julie was back married, married, divorced, but she was too scared to tell her parents that she was going out with me. Um, and I reckon that's a bloody good reputation to have. That is, isn't it? <laughs> So I had a little bit of that story last night. You had moved back into town and yes. you got in a bit of trouble. And oh, no, 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 no. I never got into any trouble. I was just young and wild, live life to the fullest. That's good. That's yeah. good. All right, so there's already a today. Tell us, uh, share a, um, a congratulations message or something you'd like to say to all. Yeah, okay. Fred and Patty, this is uh, from the heart. Congratulations. You've made it. I didn't think you would. Now you can drop off the perch and we'll all have your money. <laughs> 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 they wouldn't be the same about them, right? <laughs> good on you, Bevan. Okay. That's good, mate. Oh, and Sean, Sean, Bevan, second L. Yep, and who's this girl next to you? Uh, this is Amanda. This is my partner for the last seven years. Have you got to put a ring on it yet? I haven't put a ring on it yet. <laughs> okay, no. we'll go back to, the, to Sean then. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about you, Sean. So, Sean, tell us something most people don't know about you. Oh. Maybe you can say it. <laughs> <laughs> you work at Cornwall's Hardware and I like Cornwall's Hardware. Cornwall's, sorry, Cornwall's. Oh, I'm born and bred from Jerry Park. You are. Moved to Tamora. Yeah. Seven or eight years ago. Did you still play AFL and things like that? Uh, retired from footy. Retired. <laughs> I still play cricket. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and we'll see you at Bathurst this year as well? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, good well, stuff, yeah. good stuff. Yeah. So, tell us some memorable moment about growing up with Nan and Grandad. Uh, Nan and Grandad were always there when, uh, when Mum and Dad needed a babysitter. We're probably around Nan and Grandad's uh, at least three times a week. You got yeah. to see him a lot more than week, yeah, yeah. you and Michael. Yeah. So, and uh, hmm. whether it was out the farm with Grandad or in town in the garden with Nan. Um, so tell us um, what little message you want to send for Nan and Grandad. Um, well, from behalf of Amanda and myself, we'd like to wish Nan and Grandad a happy 80th birthday. Yep. And um, there's plenty of length left in the string. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So, yeah, happy birthday and we hope you have a, a great day and yeah. many, many more to come. Thank you so much. Hi, my name's Michael and I'm an alcoholic. Yeah, he's an alcoholic. <laughs> What's your most memorable moment with Nanny and Grandad? Um, probably Mrs. Grandad 
built, help, helping him build the Model A was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So we both put a lot of hours into that. <laughs> uh, and what would you like to say to him on his 80th anniversary? Um, just wish, wish you both happy birthdays. Sorry that I couldn't be here for Granddad's uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make it down for Nan's uh, in October. Excellent. Thank you, Michael. See ya. See ya. Daniel Waters. Daniel Waters. And tell us something that most people don't know about you, Daniel. Hi, but I'll get back to you. <laughs> you back to me? All right. So when you were growing up, what's the most, one of the most uh, memorable experiences with Nan and Grandad? Working on the That was pretty good, wasn't it? Just enjoy that. Yeah. Driving cars and learning. To, used to drive the Scarifier and the, yeah, it was. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Um, so, um, tell Nan and Grandad um, a message to them. Send them a message. What message Happy would you want? Happy birthday to you both. Yep. I hope you stay good tomorrow too soon. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. I'm Kimberly. Yep. Nan and Grandad's granddaughter. Yep. And Patty's granddaughter. Good, good, good. Hi, I'm Amy. Yep. And I've got three girls and I'm married. Three girls and you're married. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Tell, um, tell us something that most people wouldn't know about Amy. Or, uh, Hobby that you do, or something, something um, about Amy. Midwife. Mm -hmm. I've only been a really? Three years. Yeah. Right. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah. All that I work in high dependency. In what? High dependency. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Been nursing for ten years. Wow. Um, yeah, and I love it. Good stuff. So this is their eightieth um, birthday weekend celebration. Tell us something of a memorable moment when you were growing up of Nan and Grandad or something that stuck. Yeah. Yep. Well, actually, I was thinking on the way over. Yep. Um, in the holidays, we used to go out to the farm and yes. used to feed the emus the apricots. I remember the emus, <laughs> yes, yes. That's, yeah, yeah. always. And they yeah. used to chase you if you get in there, right? Yeah, and yeah. used to feed the cows. Yeah, yeah. And one used to lay on the side. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun days, wasn't remember, it? Though. I remember all that all being that. Yeah. So, give them a message or uh, something you want to share with them or tell them something from Amy. Happy birthday, Nan and Grandad. Um, hope you have another 20 years in you. Oh, easy. Yeah, definitely. I'll be around for it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm Michelle Hadro. Yep. I'm Nan and Grandad's um, granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And I am 27 years old. Yep. Um, so tell us something that most people won't know about you, Michelle. I'm a hairdresser. Yep. I've been hairdressing for about 11 years now. Wow. Um, so you've cut a lot of hair. Yeah, I've had yeah, it. Really a lot of people make them look yeah, really good, yeah, right? Yeah, I do. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. So next year when um, my little um go to school, yep. I hope to um, do some more hours. And you're going to open your own little one one day or are you happy working with someone else? I would love to. Yeah? No, you probably would do all right. You're an entrepreneurial family. Garage, yeah. Why not? I'd set one up in the garage. You've got a big garage actually, coming along the way too. I do. It's a like seven meters wide or something. <laughs> exactly. So Good no, stuff. I would love to do that. Awesome. So yeah. I want you to tell us one uh, memorable moment for Nan and Grandad when you're growing up or something that sticks that you'd like to share with them. It's it's probably more than mine. Yeah. Well, I think it's school holidays, we obviously used to always um, go over to Grand Nan and Grandad's like for about a week or something. Yep. Yep. Grandad used to take us out on the tractors um, and yeah. everything like that. So we used to feed the cows yep. and the sheep and everything like that. So that really sticks with me. Wasn't that? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Loved it. Loved it. Those were the days. Yeah, it was. Well, I remember being in the back of the year, chucking yeah, my stuff yeah. like that out. You used to always do that. Totally. <laughs> all of us on the back. Yeah, I don't know how we all fit. I was probably a lot younger and smaller then. <laughs> I did, I loved that, that really stick to you. Alright, it's the 80th this weekend, celebrations. Tell us, tell Nan and Grandad something like this, you know, congratulate them on, or share with them, or a message you'd like to give them. Um, I'd just like to say, happy 80th birthday for this weekend. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I love you so much and yeah, thank you very much. That's beautiful, thank you so much. What's your name? Kaylin. Kaylin, yeah. and who are you to the whole family? I am the greatest of the family. I am You're the great youngest. The great youngest, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, Son Terry's daughter. And this is your little baby. This is not my little baby. <laughs> she doesn't have any babies yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so tell us something that most people wouldn't know about you. Oh, um, I'm a friend of Tony Morrow. He 
you put me on the spot. You live in Sydney. I live in Sydney. I'm happily engaged. You are. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I live in Sydney. I love it up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, when funny. you're growing up, tell us she, she won't be there for much longer. She's got to come back to Wagga. Oh, okay. Is she coming back to Wagga? She yeah. is coming back to Wagga. Oh, yeah, that's she a good way to, to explain that. She has to come back to Wagga. <laughs> when she lived in Sydney, it's hard to come back to Wagga. It's, hard. <laughs> it's much warmer. Much warmer. Oh, up that's there. a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it can be warm in Wagga. It can be. All right. So when you're growing up, something memorable, 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 about growing with Nan and Granddad or coming out and seeing them or whatever? Uh, I think Christmas. Yeah. Christmas was my favourite time to be with everyone in the family. And it was always a lot of us, wasn't it? Was it? Everyone. Yeah. The cousins. Yeah. And I loved it. Um, yeah, acting as Santa and giving everyone the presents. Oh, yeah, it was I loved good. it. They yeah. love to hear that. Yeah. And what's something they'd like to hear from you? What sort of message would you like to give them? Oh, I love spending time with family and I love spending time with them. I don't see them very often now, yeah. so when we are together, it's just makes so much. Yeah, it means yeah. more. Happy birthday, Fred and Patty. Hope you had a wonderful day. Uh, I've been busy, busy, you busy. Have. I hope you've been happy with everything. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, it's been wonderful. So. And everyone come together today. That's right. Yeah. It was great to see all family, yeah. friends. You know, everyone making the effort. Um, you got yeah. a lovely heart. No, sorry. Yeah. You got a big heart. Big heart. Yeah. Oh well. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Thank you so much. Okay. Sharon. Thank you. Have no a worries. wonderful day. Josh Vieira. Okay, and how are you related to the Vieira? How am I related? Yeah, I'm um, Chris's son. So you're, you've got a Vieira name by birthright. Yes, that's Very right. good. Okay, tell us something that most people wouldn't know about you, Josh. Uh, most people wouldn't know about me. Yes. Or well, something interesting, or quirky thing. You'd probably be able to say it. Something about you that no one knows. This doesn't have to be secret. It can be just go like, I like collecting stamps. Yeah, mate. I like drinking. I like drinking. Is that a... Okay. I click bottle tops. <laughs> All right, we can skip by that one. All right. Um, it's Nan and Grandad's 80th today. Tell us something uh, of the most memorable moment you've ever had with either one of them. Oh, I think it'd be Grandad driving me around and you teaching me how to drive. So I was there many times. That was good. You were a good driver when you were five years old. I remember. He had it on the control. I was like, this kid can drive at five. You were good. Um, so I'll be watching this later. So tell us something that you'd like to share with them or a, a, a well wish or something like that. I just want to say I love them. Yeah. Beautiful, Josh. Good on you, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> your go. Who's your name? What's your name? Julia Beery. Yeah. To this guy. You've chosen well. Okay, you get the same question too. Tell us something that most people wouldn't know about you or an interesting fact or um, a hobby or something you like. Or... I'm Italian. You're Italian. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> First Italian in the Beery community. Yeah, many to come. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and um, it's their idea obviously today. Um, share a memorable moment or it's the first time you met them, what you remember or something um, like that. Probably um, Fred taking me to pick figs from the big tree out on the paddy. Oh cool. Um, he knows I love figs. Yeah. So Did he take you down the road? Yeah, yeah that's a good fig tree, right? I know that one. Right. Okay, um, it's their idea obviously again. Tell us some message you'd like to tell them or um, um, well wish or something like that. Um, just a happy birthday. I love you both so much. So who are you? Candice Berry. Okay, where are you from? Darlington Boy. Okay, tell us one thing that most people don't know about you, Candice. That I'm pregnant right now. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Um, next, <laughs> with a girl, hopefully. I know, I know, I do hope. <laughs> okay, um, what's one memorable thing that you remember growing up visiting Nan and Grandad? Um, probably when I was younger and staying like the holidays. So like, yeah. Um, I just wish them a lot of love and happiness and many more years, um, a long happy life and I hope they're around to see many more great grandchildren and yeah. I admire them and look up to them and hope to share a love like theirs. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. That's, okay. That's awesome. Here you are. Um, 
Mitchell. Yeah. What's your last name, Mitchell? Veering. Mitchell Veering. Sorry. Okay, and where are you from, Mitchell? Darlington Point. Darlington Point. And where is that? <laughs> 30 k from Griffith. 30 k from Griffith, right. right. Tell us something that most people wouldn't know about you. I like to play with fire and always get burned. You like to play what? With fire and always get burned. Yeah, so you are, man. I'm at 21st birthday. That's the first thing that popped my head. Yeah. Him starting fires. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the night with petrol in your hand. I remember the drum of petrol. That was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, um, tell us something, like I've asked all the other grandkids, when you're growing up, something you remember from Nan and Granddad that just sticks. One of the most memorable moments. I remember going on the farm with Granddad. Yeah. And then getting, getting ass whooping from Nan. It was very naughty once. From Nan? One, yeah, what did, one of the one things I'm like, sure. <laughs> did they grab a peppercorn tree thing and start whipping out? They did that to me once. Yeah. And she used like that You deserved it. <laughs> she was the Michael. Because Michael used to be doing things like that. <laughs> All right. So send us a message to Nan and Granddad that you want to hear. They want to read. Listen to. Congratulations on reaching age. Hope yep. you all the best. Yep. Safe travels. You're everywhere. Ashley, baby. Hey, Ashley. You're one of the youngest. Yes, I'm yes. So I remember your little baby. Yes, yes. So tell us something about yourself, Ashley. Um, <laughs> something most people wouldn't know, or a hobby, or a trade, or. I love playing lead tag on the weekend. Really? Awesome. That sounds cool. Lead tag. So you don't just like touch football, but you grab a tag out of their thing. Right up. When you were growing up, same question asked everyone else, what's one of the most memorable moments that you've had with Nan and Granddad? Um, always helping Nan at the op shop and yeah? um, cracking some nuts at, um, for Granddad and Nan in the shed. Yeah, Granddad loved the nuts, yeah. didn't he? Cracking them up. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. So, so probably a, a message you want to give to them or a birthday wish or something like that. Just a happy birthday and hope you have a great day. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely. Hey, so tell us who you are. I'm Sophia. Sophia, it's your birthday today. Congratulations, happy birthday. What a great day to share it with everyone. Yeah. Happy birthday. So tell us all something about yourself or something that most people wouldn't know about. I like potatoes. Like potatoes. Yeah. Did you have some of the potato bag? Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> Awesome, excellent. And are you a relative of? Yes. Yes. My great uncle. Yes. And we're probably like third, fourth cousins removed or something like that. Yeah. We're all related here. So, um, is something that you want to share with Fred and Patty, like a message for their birthday or something like that? You made it to Angel. Yeah. Have a good one. Have a Thank you so much. Yeah. What's your name? Hello. And how are you? Uh, what's your favourite thing about Nanny and Granddad? My favourite thing about Nanny and Granddad is that Granddad and Nan take such good rides. What? And, and he's all cars and yeah. he's modelled by his yep. green car and his blue car, but his blue car is still quite, he's quite sick. So. It looks good, doesn't it? See ya! Bye. So what's your name? Lilith? Yeah? Are you saying happy birthday Nanny and Grandad? No, oh, you're not shy. Stop pretending. You're Aaron? Right. Yeah, and you have a big motorhome you travel around. And you're from New Zealand as well. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, tell us how you met Pet, Fred and Patty. Okay, we arrived in Area Park in November 2014. Okay, yep. And went down the campground. Yep. They came down for happy hour and the rest is history. That's it. And you had a trip Nick with caravans. Yep. Yes, yep. and you're helping him build the caravan, yeah. fix the caravan, which was going to take him forever, but it's done now, so the thank you. Run, the green one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all good. Good yes. stuff, good stuff. So, um, what's something that you'd like to share with Patty and Fred this occasion? Just, I know you said something before, but maybe I've got this told out. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the reason we keep coming back is because uh, they took us into their hearts and their homes, so. It's a good community area, Park, isn't it? It's a wonderful, yeah. it's a wonderful community. Yeah. And you guys get to travel around. Any community, you have to have leaders and they're true leaders in here too. Yeah. yeah. We just love it. Thank you so much.
so much. Yeah, see you again.